Brain and spine diseases affect people all over the world. Many of these diseases, such as brain and spine tumors, are in the top 10 leading causes of death in the United States alone. One of these deadly diseases is called an atypical teratoid rhabdoid tumor, ATRT. This disease is a brain tumor that mostly affects young children. ATRTs are highly malignant tumors that are very rare and aggressive tumors of the central nervous system. They grow in the part of the brain known as the cerebellum, which is the part of the brain that controls movement and balance. ATRTs usually occur in children under the age of three, but are sometimes found in older children. ATRTs represent one to two percent of childhood brain tumors. Currently, the five-year survival rate for children with ATRTs is approximately 50 percent. However, this varies widely dependent upon the age at diagnosis and how much the disease has spread. Children who are less than three years old have the worst prognosis with less than 10% chance of long-term cure. Treatment depends on the size and location of the tumor as well as the patient's age. Because of the aggressive nature of these tumors, most patients receive several types of treatment, which may include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. The first treatment for an ATRT is surgery if possible. The goal of surgery is to obtain tissue to determine the tumor type and to remove as much of the tumor as possible without causing more symptoms for the person. The surgeon removes part of the patient's skull, uses a needle to take out a sample of the tumor, and sends it to the laboratory. There, scientists examine the sample under the microscope. If cancer is confirmed, the surgeon continues to operate by taking out as much of the tumor as it is safe to remove. People with ATRTs usually receive further treatment after surgery. These treatments include radiation, chemotherapy, and or clinical trials. Chemotherapy uses powerful medicines to kill cancer cells or stop the cells from dividing. Chemotherapy has many side effects, including vomiting, hair loss, loss of appetite, fatigue, and fever. Treatments are decided by the patient's healthcare team based on the patient's age, remaining tumor after surgery, tumor type, and tumor location. Current advances in therapy have helped older children and children with tumors that can be completely removed have an improved survival. New therapy is being investigated in clinical trials. The goal is to increase the cure rates and improve survival in very young children, there are two abnormal genes that result in an ATRT. Malignant rhabdoid tumors, including ATRTs, have a common abnormal gene. More than 95% of ATRTs are related to a change in the SMARCB1 gene and the SMARCA4 gene. The SMARCB1 and SMARCA4 genes are tumor suppressor genes. A tumor suppressor gene codes for a protein that stops the growth of tumor cells. When one of these genes is mutated, the protein is not made and tumor cells can continue to grow. The purpose of my medical device is to monitor the tumor suppressor genes explained above and to release proteins if it is identified that one of these genes has been mutated. My medical device will be put into the body through a shot, which will be inserted into the carotid artery in the neck and will travel through the bloodstream and into the cerebellum where ATRTs can occur. My device will attach onto DNA polymerase 1, which checks the DNA and cells for mutations. The device will monitor the SMARCB1 and SMARCA4 genes, which are tumor suppressor genes in the brain, that if mutated can cause an ATRT. If a mutation is read on either of these genes, the medical device will release the protein that was supposed to be coded for in the gene, but isn't being coded for because of a mutation. This protein will stop the growth of tumor cells, which is what these two genes are supposed to code for if not mutated. When the protein is released from the device, it will give out a signal which will let doctors know where the mutation occurred so that CRISPR technology can be used to target mutated genes in order to cut out the mutation and replace it with the correct DNA sequence. My device will be 0.01 millimeters in length, so it can fit inside a cell in order to complete its purpose. The device will be charged by a contraption that works very similarly to a water wheel, where the long antenna on my device will use the movement of the blood traveling through the veins in order to produce electricity to keep the device alive. My device will be made out of metal so that it is durable and can last a long time in the body. 
My device will help to be able to prevent not only ATRTs, but also other brain and spine tumors and beyond. By eliminating mutations in cells, many diseases such as cancer will not be able to continue growing and spreading throughout the body, saving millions of people's lives.